the last thing that your wife or kids want when you walk through the front door at the end of the day is a moody, miserable old man. <laughs> Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. If you are coming through, please do let me know. It's only Friday, kids. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Imagine if I was doing that and there's someone behind me. That would cringe. What's going on? It's Friday. Taking a boy out to play golf today. Bit of a man day. Did um, Friday's work yesterday, so pretty and fucking tense in the office to free up some time to play golf with the boy. Spend some quality time with him. The boy. Anyway, let's talk about switching off. Because to be honest, you're a miserable cunt when you get home from work and you know it. There's no two ways about it. You build up all of this intensity throughout the day. You've had a bad day. Your boss is a dickhead. You want to fill him in. You've got work piling up. People are annoying you and triggering, triggering you. Sick of fucking hearing people talk about COVID. Fucking sick of it. You come in and you fucking take it out on everyone. Walk through the front door, you're like a fucking machine gun. Daddy's home, fucking great. No one gives a fuck, no one wants you here because you're a miserable twat. So we've got to be able to, we've got to be able to change that. Right, like yesterday I was talking about the morning routine, right? And the morning routine is about preparing yourself mentally, emotionally and physically to walk out the front door and dominate the fucking day. The transition routine is to flip reverse of that. It's about, it's about preparing yourself physically, mentally, come on, and emotionally to come into the personal space, right? It's about preparing to go home. It's about preparing to leave the armor, the emotional armor at the front door. So when you walk through the door, you can not be such a miserable twat and you can have, take work cap off, put dad and husband cap back on. Or if you're by yourself, you're wanking cap. And there's a series of things or systems that you could involve here. So I'm going to go through them briefly. I'm not going to go into too much detail. If you want to do them in detail, you can come and do the five-day masterclass. Okay, you can work with me for free, no money, for five days from the 19th of uh, April. So first thing to do, before you leave work, don't do it at home. Before you leave work, you can do a brain dump. And on that brain dump, you can do all the things that you need to do. All the things that pissed you off. <clears throat> all the lessons that you learned from the day. And all the reasons that none of it fucking matters. So you just get it all out of your system. Get it all out of your brain. Get it all down on paper, right? Fucking brain dumping down like you're, <clears throat> like you're on a mission. And what that does is clears our mind from all of the fog... Like actually making sense of the day. The brain dump is in theory a reflection and review of what's happened, of who's pissed you off, of what's upset you. And you could kind of leave the office going, great, done. Take 10 deep breaths. Let's go. 10 big deep breaths. Once you've done it, once you're walking home, when you're in a car, fucking let it go. Because really, none of it fucking matters. And your wife and kid at home, don't really want to fucking know about it. Don't give a fuck. They just want their husband and dad home. So you have some fun. Whew. 10 deep breaths, let it go. So brain dump, 10 deep breaths, let it go. Then listen to something that's interesting. An autobiography. A podcast. Read an article in a magazine. Something along those lines. Something to distract your mind. Some, take, your mind take your mind down another rabbit hole where you start thinking, wow, fucking hell, this is a really interesting book. This is a really interesting story. And it really just gets your mind thinking about something else. Then find 10 minutes activity. So whether it's a walk around, literally walk around the block twice. If you run home or cycle home, you're really doing it. Then the most important part. When you walk through, before, before you walk through that front door, you turn your fucking phone off. You turn it off. You turn the work phone off. <clears throat> and if you don't have a cheap £20 phone, 
then fucking go and buy one. 20 pound a month. Where is it? He says, where is it? I'm trying to fucking show you an example. Get out of this pocket. It's got my banana anyway. 20 pounds. This here has no social media. Okay, this just has um, 10 numbers on of the people that I talk to, family. Um, and then switch your work phone off and you put it in the fucking cupboard and you don't get it out until the next fucking day, guys. Otherwise, you're gonna end up fucking undoing everything you've done because you'll be tempted to look at your inbox, you'll be tempted to look at social media, you'll be tempted to look at your emails. And that's no fucking good for anyone. That's just gonna trigger you back into your little sulky, emotional, self-pity mood. You don't want that. You wanna be present. Don't look at fucking social media at night time if it triggers you, if you can't handle it. Don't look at your fucking emails. Pay attention to the people around you. It's about switching off, guys. Honestly. Switching off, the transition routine is probably what, it's probably, in some respects, more important, <laughs> equally as important as the morning routine. So think a little bit more about your funnel and how you're gonna unwind throughout the day. And listen, have an amazing weekend. You get me all weekend as well. I'm not going to be live at 5.30. Uh, I'm having a few drinks tonight in the garden of a friend. So I'm looking forward to that. So it might be worse for wear tomorrow. Because I haven't had a blowout for a year and a half. Um, but I see you tomorrow. We're going live tomorrow. Big build up towards the five day masterclass. If you haven't registered yet, you can do. It's for free. It does invest a little bit of time and energy. Maybe about an hour and ten minutes a day. Ten minutes to do the task. About an hour for the coaching session in the evening. You can watch it back at any point. But anyway, prime yourself. Have a great Friday. Dominate the day. Fucking be that elite operator. And don't be such a miserable cunt going home. <laughs>